<laughs> I have been talking a lot, Tristan, but now we found some elephant, my favorites. Um, now, what I also, I also think is that if it's ever quiet and I need to find elephants, it looks like I just need to come to this spot because this is now the third time in a row that I've found elephants here. In the little drainage line of the... This is the Mulwati that we're in at the moment. Uh, look at that little one, just through the legs of this big elephant. You can see little trunk, young elephant <laughs> through there. Oh, listen, you can actually hear this elephant drinking the water. Oh, this is lovely. And again, you see, things start happening. You just need to be patient. Eventually the animals will stop hiding and come out. You can always rely on the elephant. I wonder if they know that they're my favorites. <laughs> Snorting some of the um, water out of its nose, blowing it out. Uh, that's right, William, you asked for elephant and you said you wanted to see them. So there we go, William, I'm glad we got to find some elephant for you. Oh, look. <laughs> uh, look at that. These elephants have been so playful in this area for some reason, just uh, resting and enjoying laying down. We've seen a lot of great elephant activity here and interaction. <laughs> I wonder if it's a little bit of resting or just uh, just deciding to, to roll around in the sand a little bit. It's probably nice and cool. <laughs> I sometimes feel like that elephant on the right. <laughs> you just think, well, maybe I just need to take a nap. <laughs> Can't carry on anymore. <laughs> Violet, you said that elephant is done, done. Yeah, it's done. And again, this is such a privilege to have these elephants so relaxed that, especially that female, that she's happy to just lie down and not threatened by us at all. These others have carried on drinking. <laughs> yeah, Tess, you say, how can you not just love elephant exactly and you know in some in some areas they do they do have a bad reputation but I do think a lot of it is just how you approach them and how you behave around the elephants you do always have to have respect for them and be careful but but I don't think elephants will intentionally harm anyone unless you make them feel threatened it's like any animal animals are not dangerous they're potentially dangerous if we threaten them. That's the only time really that wild animals become dangerous. And again, it's that respect that we always speak about. We in their habitat, we in their environment, we're purely here to view them and appreciate them. And then we are able to get wonderful sightings like this. The sun has now broken through.